two circles touch internally at point B, as shown. The equation of the circle, S, is given. The radius of circle C, is one third of the radius of S. The point K is the center of circle C. The coordinates of point B, are given. Find, the equation of circle C. Find the equation of the tangent, at point B. The general equation of a circle, can be written in these two forms. For now, let's consider the first one. Comparing this given equation with the general equation, we can obtain the center, and the radius, of circle S. Now let's find the radius, and the center, of circle C. The radius of C is one third of the radius of S. Now, let's find the center of C that is K. The coordinates of a point dividing the line in the given ratio AB are given by this formula. Note that point K divides the line AB in ratio AK and KB. Since KB is one third, therefore AK is two thirds. Simplifying this we get a ratio of two to one. Now use the coordinate formula for point K. Now that we have the center and the radius of circle C, the equation can be written in this form. Let's find the equation of the tangent line, at point B. General equation of a line passing through a given point, is given by this equation. Here M is the slope of the line. The point B is given, so we need to find the slope of the tangent. Since tangent is perpendicular to line AB, therefore the slope of the tangent can be written as The slope of a line passing through two given points, is given by this equation. So the slope of the line AB is This gives the slope of the tangent. Finally, here is the equation of the tangent line. Think about subscribing. Thanks for watching.